Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to take a look how to deploy your Strapi starter on Strapi Cloud. So who is Strapi Cloud for? It's for anyone that is looking to deploy their application quick and not have to worry about managing the deployment process. You have paying clients, you're a small business, you're marketing agencies, building websites, and you just want to focus on creating solutions for your customers, but you don't want to manage the deployment process or you just don't have the team size to having the bandwidth to do that. So Strapi Cloud is perfect for you. You can create an account and try it out for 14 days free. So let's jump in and give Strapi Cloud a try to see if it's the right solution for your business or your project. Now from our Strapi website, we're going to click the cloud link, which is going to take us to a cloud page and you're going to click this button, start your free trial. Now, before we continue, you do need to have a Strapi project running. So in the two previous videos of the series, I showed you how to set up your Strapi starter. This way you'll have a project that you could deploy to Strapi Cloud to check things out. So here I already have a Strapi starter local setup that I walk you through how to set up in the first previous two videos. So check them out if you haven't. So now in Strapi Cloud, I'm going to say create a new project. In your view, you're going to have an option for a free trial. So make sure to select it. Click next. And here you're going to provide your repository name. So I'm going to point to my repository that points to my Strapi starter project that we all set up previously. Click next. It's going to walk you through the process. You could click show advanced settings because our project does have our backend and front end. Make sure that you point to the backend folder here. And we don't need to add any additional environmental variables. All the default variables will be set up for us automatically. Click next. You will be asked to add your payment and billing information to start the trial and click create. Once the deployment process is initiated, you will be able to see the build process in real time. And we'll come back when this is all set and done. Once the deployment process is done, you may click the deploy button and you'll be able to click visit your app. If this doesn't show up to you right away, you could always hit the refresh button. Now, when we visit our website, you could go ahead and go into slash admin and create your first admin user. Now let's create our first admin user, Paul Bratz, email at paulbratzlavsky at strapi.io. And make sure here you go ahead and create a secure password because this is an application running in production. And click let's start to log into your admin panel. Now I'm going to keep this in dark mode uh, just so we could tell the difference between the project deployed in the cloud and the project running locally. As you could see, we currently don't have any of our data in our project. So what I'm going to do is show you how to transfer data from your local project to your cloud project. But in order to do that, we have to first create a transfer token. So let's click settings, click on transfer token, create a new token. I'm going to call this transfer token duration because I'm only going to move this data today. I'm going to just set it for seven days. Token type, you could either do push or pull. I'm going to do full access, even though we are pushing data to the cloud. Click save. Now inside my local environment, in my terminal, I'm going to navigate to Strapi backend folder. Now, in order to get some hints on how to run the transfer command, you could type yarn Strapi help transfer. And this is going to give you all the options. So we're going to use our to destination URL, and then we're going to pass in our token. So now let's initiate our transfer. I'm going to type yarn strappy transfer, and I'm going to use the to flag. Make sure you go ahead and copy your URL. It needs to be your URL, including slash admin. Let's paste it in and click enter. Now it's going to ask us for that token we created. I'm going to go ahead, copy that newly generated token and click save. Paste in your token, click enter. And this is going to ask you that the transfer will delete all the data found in your remote strappy, which is fine for us because we're seeding our data initially. Click yes. Now when using ProCloud, review workflows is not included. It's part of our team's feature. So here you're going to see this warning, which is perfectly fine. Just click yes and continue. This is going to start your file transfer. Once the file transfer is done, you're going to see a list of all the items that were imported. Now we can go ahead in our Strapi application, go back to content manager, and you will see that all your data has been imported from your local environment. 
What's awesome, you could also do this in reverse, where you could transfer data from your cloud instance down to your local environment, and then using our expert feature, creating backups of your data. So in this video, we saw how easily you're able to take your local project and deploy it to Strapi Cloud. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, Monday through Friday on Strapi Discord, we have our open office hours from 12.30 CST time to about 1.30 CST time. So if you have any questions or just want to say hello, stop on by. With that being said, in the next video, we're going to take a look how to deploy our front end to Vercel and connect both projects together. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching as always.